Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 39 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today it is the championship race from Zen Joltes as our 39th champion will be, as our, thir our 39th season champion will be revealed after this race as we have four drivers left to compete for the title. On the pole will be the 42 Max Bailey, alongside him will be the 15 of Alex Hawkins. And then the other two drivers in the championship four are Igor Barreto in the two and Dylan Kroom in the 20. One of these four will become your champion for the race here um, today with the highest finisher being your champion. A couple guest drivers here today. Brad Cheston will be in the 62 for this race and Van Tracy Battle will be driving the 31 in the finale. And finally, our winner from last weekend's race at Talladega is, was Ember Ross, and she'll be starting in uh, the 27 car. She'll be starting in the middle of the pack today. Um, try, and she'll be starting in 12th position. She'll be starting in the 12th position here in today's race. And she won the race at Talladega by one one thousandth of a second. It was a tight, close battle, but Ember Ross got the win at Talladega by inches. We'll see what happens here at Zen Joltis in the even bigger and even faster racetrack of this um, establishment. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, strap yourselves in because we're about to go trackside for the command to fire the engines up. Cars are rolling off the track, and here we go. The season finale is just moments away from the uh, from the green flag. And these are the last time. These are probably the last time you'll see most of these drivers in their numbers. Next season, there'll probably be some shuffling. Definitely a lot of shuffling around so many cars here in season 40. And it's going to be a whole new start, by the way, in season 40. And I'll tell you more about that at the end. But for now, the season finale is about to get underway. And one more thing, it'll be two stages of 10 laps each, like we did at Talladega, because it worked so well. Yeah, it really did work well with the stages, having everybody close together on the restart and racing their hearts out. So we're going to try this again at Zen Joltis. Anyway, green flag is out, and the championship race is underway. Even if we do have a big one here, it's going to, it's just going to put the field in the back for stage two. Every car will be back on track, even after they wreck in stage one. So stage one, though, is just to, it's, a, it's just to set up the field for the final 10 lap dash. It's all just for the full race and to make things a lot more exciting and play tracks like these. So here comes the two Igor Barreto. And the 42 and the 1 also battling as well. And the 2 car in control right now. He's the top driver in the championship 4. Austin Sitzel is going to go down the bottom for the lead. And the 9 car takes the lead away. No, no, no. Now he's going to take the lead away. He, I, he didn't before, but now he is going to. The 9 car is the only Hendrick driver to not win this season, and they started off pretty well at first. Well, they, well, they've had, well, now they had a total, they now have a total of, believe it or not, 7 wins this season, and 2 of them have come from Acevedo, 2 of them have also come from Caitlin Bexford, and 3 of them have come from Eli Bright, and not to mention, Bexford won the All-Star race earlier this season. It was a winning season for Hendrick. It's just too bad that none of their four cars were able to make the championship four. But they, but the nine car, he really, really wants to win this race so badly, so he could win as, so he can have at least one win with all his other teammates in season uh, 30, 39. Looks like Giovanni Castillo is not running really well. Something must have gone wrong early on. But don't worry, it probably is going to save the best for last, though, for stage two. I'm sure, uh, I probably, it's, he's probably using a different strategy. 
someone slips up right now, it's a big crash, and it will change up the field and definitely um, really determine who's going to be out in front of the championship four. Wouldn't that be fun? Anthony then, bottom lane for the lead. And the 37 looks to make it another victory for the team. As Anthony then has had three wins so far, he was eliminated in round two of the playoffs. And now he's looking for another victory here. He won at ISM, by the way, two races ago. So he's looking to wrap up season 39 by taking the 37 to victory lane. And we have a crash. Van Tracy Battle spins, and that'll bring the caution out for the first time tonight. Alex Hawkins was involved, and so was Max Bailey. Two Championship 4 competitors in trouble early on. They can still obviously come back because everybody's going to be back even if they wreck out in Stage 1. But this is going to slow down their progress here to be one of their, to be, to, for one of them to be a champion. And there's the wreck there with Hawkins and Bailey involved. Clark McKee was also in the wreck. And there it is uh, from a different view, up close view as two cars were involved in that wreck. And the uh, 15 and 42 were involved there too. And those were the two cars that were involved. That was pretty, that was a pretty bad wreck. So now we're going to go back to the restart. And we'll see what happens uh, from here on the final couple laps in stage one. Four laps to go. Green flag is out. Thirty-seven car is has got a good start. The eighteen and the nine car both trying to battle behind. Right now, the highest driver in the championship four so far. That's Igor Barreto. He's running in nineteenth. Wow, pretty deep in the field for the championship four right now, but. This is only stage one, so things could change in an, quickly, could change very quickly. But Igor Barreto has the advantage now, and Dylan Crumey, he needs to catch up now. He's 25th. The other two we mentioned earlier were involved in the wreckage with Van Tracy Battle. They're in the bottom two of the, of the race, believe it or not. But we've seen some big com comebacks before. So it is not over yet for those two to compete for the championship. As Anthony then takes the lead. And here comes the double zero Shane Goladex. And now he's up to moving up to the second spot. The double zero with three laps to go in stage one. 37 is still in, com in in control. He's still in the lead. And his teammate Ryan Acosta running behind him. Some of these drivers have yet to win this season. Ryan Acosta is one of them. And also Austin Stitzel hasn't won this season. He would love to end this season on a high note with a victory. John Andrews also winless this season. And Maxwell Smart I think only has one win I believe. So all these guys are looking to break the win their winless droughts here in this race, all trying to battle against one another to see who will survive. It'll be it's it's all or nothing here at this point. Here's Grayson Acevedo battling with Austin Stitzel, his teammate. It's probably not going to help out his teammate uh, at all going to second place. Shane Goladex goes in the bottom. Oh, wow. Now the 10 car Ryan Durani is trying to avoid the um, impact. Wow. Ryan Durani got a little loose there. Looked like he was going to wreck. And just saves it at the last moment. 
And now where there's two laps to go in stage one. Stage one all about to be complete. Look at the cars. They're going beyond four wide. Look at that. They're going five or even six wide. Only a matter of time before somebody makes another mistake and we'll get a big crash. And right now we are not seeing any. We're, right now they're they're staying calm. Oh boy, 13, a little tight there on the on the middle line, and now things are getting dicey. At two cars still in control, I believe, and no, the 20 is right behind, is right, right in the back of the draft here. That's the 20 car, and the two car, I think, is still out in front of, no, he's not out in front of him, he dropped off. He suddenly dropped off, how about that? So now 20 cars in control. Dylan Kroon behind him is in control, believe it or not. And he is way back in the um, in the draft. He has the advantage, though, the slight advantage of being the highest driver in the championship four right now. But it's still only the first stage, and I guess the, the bat, they're probably going to wait until the, the second stage to let it all out and give it all they got. And here we go, last lap of stage one, and we won't even run that under green because there's another crash behind them. Chris Leon just went around, and I think a couple more cars were involved. Yes, they were. Wow. Big crash once again. Almost the same spot as the last one. And I'm not sure if any, other, no, I don't think any of the championship four got any, had some involvement. Ooh, Barreto, Barreto got a little contact. Ooh, but Dylan Kroom, I think, it looked like he made it through cleanly. He looked like the 20 car made it through without a scratch. And if he didn't, then he, he would be in trouble. Let's see if he did. Oh, he made it through somehow. Wow, he made it through. He made... He made it. 20 car made it. That 2 car, I think he also made it. Yeah, it, it was a long ways from where he was, but he gained probably a ton of positions from that crash and just barely avoided the 51 car. Wow. And look at that, 36, a little contact there on the apron before the they cross the, well, right after they cross the start finish line. Anthony then is going to lead us back to the, is going to lead us back, is, is going to lead us to the start of stage two. So Anthony then is going to lead to, is going to lead us to the start of stage two right now. And there you see the rest of the pack that they'll be running in the order. And Dylan Kroom, the highest of the championship four competitors, currently in running in 25th. Barreto's running 34th, and Bailey's running 39th, and Alex Hawkins running 41st. But again, we've seen some craziness happen in these final laps, so stay tuned. Stage 2's coming up, and this will determine who will be your champion. Don't go away. Alrighty guys, it's now time for the final 10 lap stage and the last 10 lap run of the season. Alex Hawkins in the back, then Max Bailey right behind him, right behind, right ahead of the 15 I should say. There's Igor Barreto there in the middle pack and the highest driver in the championship four right now, Dylan Kroom in the 20. Keep our eyes all on them throughout the night. And here we go, the final 10 lap stage is underway to decide who will be your champion. Right now with 20 cars up on the high line, so he might be in trouble. He might get passed by the other cars who all had their who had all had them fixed. They had everything fixed for them, and now they're all back in contention for the title. 42 is in control right now. He's on the bottom lane. That's where everybody wants to uh, be at Zenjoltis. But you never know. Another crash might happen. We might set up the field. 
But Max Bailey's on the bottom, and he's going to make it work. He's going to go on the bottom lane, and he's going to take the top position away from Dylan Kroom. So now he's in the driver's seat right now for the title. Kroom is stuck in the very high line. Near the wall, in fact. He almost is hitting the wall. Look at them. He's trying to avoid the wall at all costs. He's trying to avoid hitting the wall. And Alex Hawkins is right behind Max Bailey. He's on his tail. So the it could come down to the 15 against the 42 for the championship. As we see the first lap, Anthony then leads the first lap. But our eyes right now are on the championship four. One of these drivers will be a champion. And Max Bailey, he's up in the middle line. That could leave the door open for Alex Hawkins. This is the closest he's been to a championship um, in his career. And he looks to finally add a championship to his uh, resume. Here he comes. He's on the middle as well. But he's got the better run than the 42. They're real close though. They could be making some contact. Oh, he's a, well, nearly makes contact with Reynolds. They could have wrecked at that point, and that could have changed the outlook of the playoffs. Hawking's down low, and he's got the better line. He's got the best line now. He's the highest of the championship four. And if they make another wreck, there they go. Max Bailey's involved. Max Bailey's hit, and he's flipping. The 42 is flipping. And one more car's hit. 48 is hit. Not sure if the other championship drivers were involved. Oh, man. That might have decided who be... Well, right now... Dylan Kroom, I don't know if he was involved. He was in the back of the pack. I don't know if he got involved. I don't know if he got hit by that. No, he didn't get hit. He's, he's, he made it through. Looks like he made it through. Yeah, from the looks of it, it looks like he made it through without any damage. He still has, he still has a chance. There's the wreck in front of him. And it looks like the 20 car still has a chance. He just barely avoids the wreckage. But what about Barreto? It looks like he also made it too without any damage. I'm not sure. It happened right in front of him. Right. Look at this. Yeah, right in front of him and he avoids it. He too avoided the wreckage. So there's still three competitors fighting for the championship. We do know that Max Bailey was involved right here and this is where the wreck happened he had contact and he goes flipping and flying and his championship hopes might have just ended right there there's still the possibility of overtime if we get a if we get a caution if we get a um a wreck that would end the race under caution that's the only way Max Bailey could be back in contention for the title. He would only have two laps, though, to become the highest driver in the championship four. That's going to be real tough to do at Zen Joltis in two laps. It would be a miracle if he does it. So, Bailey, he's officially out of the race for now, but... He can still make it, he can still get back in it if he, if there is an overtime finish. But once that white flag comes out under green, his chances of winning the title are gone. But he's four laps to go. He's sitting this one out, 39th right now. And the other three are still fighting for the championship. We're back to green with four to go. Alex Hawkins is seventh right now, the highest of the th remaining drivers racing for the championship he's not worried too much about winning the race he's just wants to win the championship he wants to be the highest of the remaining three and he could run away with the title Dylan Kroom right behind him in 24th though um, still very far away from the 15 and Barreto he's coming he is coming quick Igor Barreto, he is catching the 15. 
He just needs enough draft to get by him. Can the two car win the title? Two longtime drivers, Alex Hawkins and Igor Barreto, both battling for the championship. We'll see if Alex Hawkins, will this be his season to finally win a title? And it would be for the melon team. It would make every fan of those watermelons happy. Chase Wisted is leading the race. Uh, Alex Hawkins helping him draft a bit. Coming to three laps to go. Oh, they're getting like really, really tight now. And now the 15 is getting right down the middle. And look at this, front row teammates 1-2 now between Chase Wisted and Maxwell Smart. Both running top two right now to finish off this, the race here. Hawkins is on the high line, and here we go. The race is on. Barreto's going low. 4-5 wide. Now they're real close. If the two car doesn't wreck, and now the 20 just went by the two, and now he's trying to get close for the title. He's still in it. And Dylan Kroom surprises everybody by getting the top five. Still early. Still very early. Three laps to go, though. And he's on the bottom. Anything can happen now in the final three laps. And Max Bailey's hoping that a caution comes out and he gets back into championship contention and has another shot. At gaining ground on the on the championship four and maybe come come from behind and take the title. With the way they're running right now, we might have another caution in the within the next two laps. That would really shake up the field. And here we go, two laps to go. And believe it or not, Van Tracy Battle is in the lead in a part-time role in the 31. Yep. And there's a crash! Roll Durani Reynolds have spun! And I think that's going to be an overtime finish for sure. We're going to run in overtime. And now Max Bailey, he's back in contention for the championship. And now we'll see who's going to be the lead car in the final two in the fight in overtime so this championship is going to come down to a two lap overtime finish what is that is just it's going to be amazing oh my goodness right now it's going to be van tracy battle in the lead can he hold on and do a lead overtime ego Barreto in third Barreto running third highest of the championship four cars. He's going to have to hold on for another two laps after he crosses the start finish line. No cautions will stop anybody from running the as fast as they can. It's going to be an all out wreck fest in the final two laps all for the all for the title. But Igor Barreto, he's going to lead us back to the caution. And let's see who's going to lead us back to the yellow. And it looks like it was actually Maxwell Smart. Wow, he stays on the high line and he makes it work. He it was able to retain the lead and he will lead us to overtime here at Zanjoltis. So Max Bailey's back on, back in contention, but he's 39th. And he'll have a long way to go before catching up to Igor Barreto, who will start in third. So, don't miss the final two laps coming up here in the championship race. This is it, folks. The final two-lap dash to decide who will be champion. And Igor Barreto, the highest driver in the championship four, in third. We'll see if he can pull it off. Green flag is out. Final two laps here of the season in the Pokemon Cup Series. And here we go, folks. 
This is the battle for the championship. Barreto is up on the high line. He's in trouble. Here comes Hawkins. Here comes Kroom. Here they come. The 15 on the bottom lane. The 20 car as well. Both battling to get to get the to get the title. Right now the advantage to Hawkins. He's on the bottom. This could be a battle for the win. Priya McShane is out in front, by the way. But the 15, all eyes are on him now. He has the prime spot in third place. And they're wrecking already behind him. They're already wrecking. 47 car just went around. The 9 involved. But none of the championship 4 have any damage. And that 42 is on the bottom as well. Still plenty of time for drama. And here we go to the white flag on the last lap of the season. Sebastian Kukulon trying to lead the race. Everybody trying to find the draft. Here we go to the white flag. Dylan Kroom on the bottom. Hawkins is up high. Kroom is going on the bottom lane. Max Bailey trying to come from behind. Kukulon in front, but the battle, the real battle, is in the middle. And now the 42 gets bumped in the middle. The same line with the 20. 15, 20, 42 all battling for the championship. Hawkins right now in front. Kroom looks low. He's going to try to pass him. Bredo's right on the high line near the wall. And Chase Wisted leads. Pichu drafting in front of him. And now the 20 goes trying to block the 42. 15. He is just... He is still on the high line. They'll be side by side for the title. Hawkins has the advantage. Somehow he makes it work up high. Just one turn left. And Hawkins is up high. Chrome has the edge. Down the final corner, Christian Russell leads. Into the final turn for the championship. This is for everything. Here they come to the line. Dylan Chrome looks like he'll be your champion. Dylan Chrome might have just become your champion. The 20. He finishes 8th and he is the champion. Dylan Kroom has won the title. In 8th place, the 20 car has won the championship. It is Dylan Kroom. He did it. He has done it. The 20 car has won the championship. Dylan Kroom has added his name to the, to the list of champions in the Pokemon Cup series. Dylan Kroom has won it. In 8th place, he has won the title. And Max Bailey was 12th. What a comeback, but it fell just short of him being the champion. Hawkins will finish 14th. And one other driver in the... Barreto. Igor Barreto dropped to 33rd. He had some damage from overtime, but Dylan Kroom... The best driver has won the championship. He was he had more wins than any driver in the regular season. And he was always one of the most consistent ones out there. And we have ourselves a legit champion for season 39. Dylan Kroom. The 20 car is going to be a champion. And Joe Gibbs, they have got the job done. They won with Kyle Busch in the Cup Series in real life. And now in the Pokemon Cup Series... They are champions once again, this time with Dylan Kroom. And the 20 car was the best driver of the season, without a doubt. The 20 has become your champion. And by the way, the, lat, the, ra the, the, race, the, the final race was won by Christian Russell. Yes, Christian Russell has won here at Zenjoltis. And he even beat out the Daytona 500 winner, Eli Bright. For the, for the race win. Unbelievable. I mean, Bright almost started off 
he almost ended the season with a win after starting with the win. Eli Brad, that would have been that would have been a first, I think. Christian Vargas came in third. It was almost a second Christian one too, right there, right then and there. Wow. But in the end, though, it was Christian Russell getting the win once again here at Zanjoltis. And, well, it's a shame that he was eliminated early on in the playoffs. He could have really, he probably would have been your champion. He also would have been a, a legit champion. He had three wins this season and all came in the playoffs. Yeah, all came in the playoffs, believe it or not. And Dylan Kroom, he had three wins as well. Richmond and Worldwide Technology Raceway and the Glen. And also a deserving winner in a deserving winner this season. So Christian Russell, he completes the season with three wins, just like the champion Dylan Kroom. Incredible that um, Christian Russell had as many wins in the same season as the champion this season, Dylan Kroom. It is incredible. Wow. These two probably would have been championship four competitors, but it just didn't happen this year. But Christian Russell will take a win any day. Any and anyway. Anyway, any day he'll take a win. Wow. That's just amazing. But Christian Russell but the big focus is on the twenty car, Dylan Kroom. He takes home the win. Um he takes home the championship in season thirty nine. Incredible race, folks. It was an incredible race to an incredible incredible finish, I should say, to an incredible season here in Season 39. Boy, it was a lot of fun. So before we leave here today, we're just going to show you the result, the um, the wins, uh, the number of wins each driver got. And yeah, there will be there will be a lot of wins to go around. So, so let's uh, let's look at right here. OK, I'm going to be updating the list right here right now. Yeah, Dylan Kroom's on top. Look at that, top of the heap. So Dylan Kroom's championship season ends up with three wins and five top fives and eight top tens. Led 45 laps, and I think he led, more, well, he didn't lead more laps than any other driver. One other driver did, but <laughs> we'll get to that later. Um, Let's see if there were any other any playoff drivers. Uh, blah. Never mind. So Dylan Kroom, he had a wonderful, a phenomenal season. Dylan Kroom had a great season. He went home with three wins uh, in this championship season and had probably the most consistent finishes of any driver in season 39. So well-deserved champion this season. He deserved it. Congrats to him on a job well done. Anthony then also had three wins this season, Texas and ISM and Kentucky. And, uh, yeah, he's also a consistent driver, and we look forward to seeing him once again uh, compete for more wins if he comes back next season. Always one of the more consistent winners. Then there's Eli Bright, who also won the... Um, let's take a look at Eli Bright. There's also Eli Bright, who had a handful of victories. He won the Daytona 500 and won at Auto Club earlier this season, and he almost won this race, by the way, as well. He almost won this race, believe it or not. Uh, then there was also Grayson Acevedo, who had two wins this season. He won at Homestead, and he won at the Charlotte Roval. He was eliminated early in the playoffs, but he had two wins. And he's tied with Seth Cole in terms of victories of his career with um, t t 18 wins. He has 18 wins in the, in the series now. He is tied with um, Seth Cole. Caitlin Bexford had a phenomenal season. Uh, Sonoma, Chicagoland, she won in, and she also won the All-Star Race, um, as I mentioned before. And Christian Vargas, the other Christian in the group, he had some wins too. Um, he had two wins, by the way. He won at Dover and one of the dual rate and one of the doubleheader races in Pocono. He also had a two-win season. And Christian Russell, like I said earlier, three wins uh, this season. Darlington, Las Vegas, and Zen Joltis. And all three of those wins came in playoff races. So he waited until the playoffs to get those wins. And he showed. He had four in up finishes, by the way, before that. So he was also a consistent factor this season. Alexander Rowe had two wins. Mexico and Atlanta. He got those two wins there. And uh, he, he made it to... Um, he made a, only made it to the first round of the playoffs, but still, though, had some consistency. 
Isaiah Bernash, though, he had a win this season. So the 77 Spire team, they came back with a victory. Last season, they won a handful of races with Anthony then. But Isaiah Bernash, he waited 18 seasons to get back to victory lane. And he finally got another victory at New Hampshire. And Max Bailey, the second highest driver in the of the championship four to finish in the race. Well, it, well, you can't say he had a pretty bad season. He had a awesome season too. So he won at Iowa, and I believe he won another race that I did, did fail to uh, put down. Um, yeah, Max Bailey won another race. He had two wins this season, so he is a two-time winner. And uh, Johnny Garner also had some wins too. Two-time champion wasn't able to make it three, but he did have a win at Road America. And he has 28 wins now in his career. He's tied with Jacob Lawler for the win as the winningest driver in the PCS in the history of the league. That is impressive. And next season he might try to break that record. Igor Barreto, two wins in his championship four season with Kansas and Martinsville. At least he got that two car back to contention for the title. And Alex Hawkins. Let me look at him. Look him up. He only had one win. He had to win at Coca Cola to get in the playoffs, believe it or not. And he made the championship four. On the at the last minute, he made the championship four. That's just impressive. JD Figueroa. He took a season off, and now he's back, and he got a win once again. He made it through the playoffs on that win. Oh, he had two wins actually. He won at Charlotte, and he won at Twin Ring Montague. So, yeah. Ember Ross, she had that first career win at Talladega. Chris Leon, Shane Golodex, they all were first-time winners this season as well. Maxwell Smart also had a win. He won at Michigan in Season 39. It's only his second career win. So congrats to him on getting his second career win early this season. Clark McKee also became a first-time winner. And finally, Cassandra Kirker got that win in Indianapolis. Former Daytona 500 winner from last season. She won this season at Indianapolis, which was very impressive. Anyway, and uh, the other drive and the rest did not have a win this season. They were pretty close, though, um, getting victories um, throughout the season. But they'll probably have to wait next season for a chance to get back into victory lane. So anyway, hope you enjoyed our season here in the Pokemon Cup Series Season 39. And as, as I mentioned earlier, it'll be a new start next season. Because the series is undergoing a name change. Um, I thought about this for a while. The reason I'm changing the name from the Pokemon Cup Series is because um, I just think it doesn't fit well with Pokemon um, and NASCAR and our Town 3. I've had the name since the um, series first began and almost when the series first began. Um, season 1 it was known as the Pichu Series. Uh, season 2 it acquired the Pokemon Cup Series name. And uh, next season, Season 40, um, that's when I decided uh, I'm going to change the name of the series. Um, I'll still use the Menace, the Menace mod, whatever it's called now, 2019 mod. And if a 2020 mod comes out, we'll go to that in Season 41 or 2020 car set, whatever whatever they do um, for next season, for the update next season, they or for whatever the fans do. Um I'm actually still working on the name, but I'm trying to find the best name for this series. Um, we're still going to be calling it Season 40, but it will just be under a different name um, for the Pokemon Cup series. So this will be the very last race under the Pokemon Cup series name. Uh, next season, of course, we will be changing the name of the series. Um, you can leave your suggestions in the comments below, but ultimately it'll be my decision to... Uh, it'll be my decision on what the new name will be but I will um, listen to your suggestions in the comments below and maybe I'll consider um, putting in, in like other race names somehow in, in some form maybe I'll consider your ideas being put as race names for each and other, uh, every other race and um, yeah we'll see where it goes from there but anyway again I am changing the name of the series um, because it doesn't fit well with Pokemon and yeah, it, has, it never fit well with Pokemon. I did have a Pokemon paint scheme um, for the 97 uh, at one point, and Pichu actually ran a couple races with that. But other than that, uh, this really doesn't have anything to do with Pokemon, and I thought it was time for it was time for a change. And um, I'm thinking about a new uh, new name just to make it more fitting with this series and whatnot. 
And no, it has nothing to do with copper, uh, the copper rules of YouTube, the copper um, requirements that YouTube is setting up now. Um, it has nothing to do with copper or anything like that. It's just uh, I decided uh, it was it was about time to give this series a brand new name because um, it, again, it has little or no, nothing to do with Pokemon, and uh, I thought it would be the right time to do so. So um, anyway, season forty will start a brand new start. A uh, new decade, I should say, um, in the series. I've done like uh, four different decades. This will be my fifth different decade I'm doing um, races at. And I don't know if anyone has ever gone that far in Anor Town 3 series for sure. And I'm still kicking it with 40 seasons, almost 40 seasons under the belt. <laughs> so this is going to be awesome. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed our season season 39 has come to a close and we have our champion and uh within the next few days i will be revealing the new the new um league name for this series um you'll see you'll you'll hear announce you'll hear an announcement very soon on the new name for the league and but again i do want to hear your suggestions for the new name in the comments below um i might take your suggestions in the form of race names but um, it's ultimately going to be my decision on what the race, on the what the series name will be. But again, this will be the last race under the Pokemon Cup series name, and next season we'll have a new name. So can't wait to can't wait. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys the new name whenever I come up with it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this season. And um, from all of us here, this is Pichu London, and I'll see you guys in season forty. Um, I will have the signups video up soon. Not right now, but I will have the signups video up next month. Um, not like this month, not around around this month, because the holiday season's coming up, and uh, I have a lot to, a lot of work to do and other on my other two on this channel and my other two channels. So um, somewhere in January, you can expect a new signups video. Um, even before that, I will I will reveal the new league name that will be going under in season forty, and uh, I hope this will work very well um, heading into future seasons and beyond. So, hope you enjoyed uh, the season, and this is Pichu London, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, have a have a happy holidays, um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, and whatnot. And we will see you guys next year for a new season of the Pokemon Cup series, um, which will soon have a new name next season. And again, that'll be revealed later. Uh, but again, leave your com leave your suggestions in the comments below um, what the new series name might be. So anyway, take care everyone, and we will see you guys next season.